dear students electric dipole in this electric dipole if you want to find out electric field intensity not in axial line not in equatorial line some other line which is making certain angle theta with the axial line this is an equatorial line it is some other line if you want to find out electric field intensity along this line then what you have to do you all know electric field intensity along the axial line is 2k uh, 2kp by r cube and along the equatorial line is kp by r cube so with certain angle if you take you have to take the components here so axial line means here you have to consider 2 kp by r cube cos theta and in this direction it is making kp by r cube sin theta okay that's it now you have to find out the resultant in, in this direction you have to find out the resultant so how are you going to find out this resultant here so resultant is nothing but you have to apply the pythagoras theorem you have to consider here 2 kp by r cube cos theta whole square plus this side kp by r cube sin theta whole square okay so then what are the things which are going to be common here again kp by r cube you can take common out here kp by r cube if you take common out what is left inside the root then it is 2 2 square means it is going to be 4 cos square theta plus sin square theta okay so what i am going to do here i will write the resultant k i will consider as 1 by 4 by epsilon naught p by r cube here and this is going to be, I will take the 3 cos square theta like that only and 1 cos square theta I will club with sin square theta. So cos square theta plus sin square theta here. So cos square theta plus sin square theta is going to be 1. Okay, then what I am going to get? E resultant is going to be P by 4 pi epsilon naught into R cube into divided by R cube. So this is going to be square root of 3 cos square theta plus 1. Okay, so this is going to be our final derivation. There is one problem based on this. We can see this problem also. 